So today we are going to look at how to uh, set up big blue button for web conferencing like it works like zoom but it's embedded in uh vle so we are going to set it up on uh lecture side so our students can view it so i'll come here on that course where i want to set up big blue i go into that course whatever we want to do in that course we are supposed to turn on editing so i'll turn on editing I come and edit so let's say i'm going to set up the big blue there so i'll say uh, this is we are looking at lecture one so i want to explain those notes i put in lecture one so uh, lecture one let's say like meeting yes i press enter so it changes so big blue is found on here add activity we come and add big blue yes we give it a name so we are talking about lecture one so i'll come here and look for uh, here our description because this is what will happen will appear there so here we are looking at lecture one so i can check that it will display it on the course page i can also notify the users yes you always check this one because this one will send a message to the users that you have a you have a big blue class so we come here on uh, activity yes it will here it is showing us uh, by default it brings us welcome uh, to bsu live classes we we'll make sure that one is checked uh, do you want to wait for moderator? Uh, no, we are check that because once a lecture doesn't log in, students won't be able to log in. So you want your students to be in the class as they wait for you. So we uncheck that. We we'll make sure this uh, these sessions are recorded. Yes, we can view recordings, but they will show in table uh, table form once the recording is done. So unlock settings there is nothing to lock here we can we can leave those ones uh, for presentations we can drag and drop a presentation here but uh, supposing you wanted first talk before presenting so we can wait we can save that for later and then we come here on role assigned assigned during live session so we have two roles we have a lecturer and we have a student so here by default i brought me a lecturer as a moderator I can add a, uh, add a role, I say, because on roles we have st we are doing student and lecturer. So our student, I add, so we have a lecturer and students, especially it normally brings course creator, but make sure you delete that. So a lecturer is a moderator, a student is a viewer. Yes, a lecturer is a moderator, a student is a viewer. So... After the roles, we come here on when the session can start. Uh, because my time is showing me 5 uh, 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 31, I want to make sure I can I can I can enter into that course into that video. So for me to join, I have to make sure like I say, let me set it to maybe like 30. Hmm? 530, because my time is showing me 5 5 uh, uh, 5 uh, 32 so it is two minutes past uh past the beginning of that uh, web conference so i'll come here and tell and tell it when it will end let's say it's ending at seven so those are around two hours so when it begins when it starts so when can students also view these settings i normally do this for grade so they can view it let's say yeah at that time no, we can't put it at 12. Let me say they can. They should have started viewing it since yesterday. So I leave it there like that. So after I'm done with that, I come here and save and return to the course. Yes, so if I'm to save and return, my big blue will be showing like this. So if I'm a lecturer, I'll click there and join the session. 
Yes. So I can join by speaking. So if I'm to put on the audio mic, it will make a lot of noise since I'm recording. Let me join by listening. Only but I can join by conference. speaking. Yes. I have to join by speaking, obviously. So even start a recording. I can start a recording. Yes. I can start a recording here. Yeah, it starts recording. I can even pause the recording or stop a recording. Yeah, when I do that, I, I can I can pause and start a recording anytime I want. I can turn on video. Yes, I can turn on a video setting. I say allow. It brings a pop-up. I say allow. I configure this and turn on my video. So my video will be appearing here. So students will be seeing uh, this side of my video. So they will be seeing me. So if I want to add a presentation, I can share my screen here. I can um, um I can add their presentation. Yes, I can come here. I I browse for my presentation. Let's say this is my presentation. I say open and I upload. Yes, I'm uploading a presentation. So my presentation has been uploaded. So I have a presentation so I can start. Yes, I can start doing that. So I can even have students by default lecture. It brings in a square format here. Yes, so we have this square. Your lecture, your phone in a square format. For a student, it will appear as a circle. Once the time of the meeting has ended, it will, uh, and I go back to my course unit, back to... Direct uh, this uh, big blue setting. Yes, I can come back here. It will be showing me this conference has ended at the time I set. So it will come and show me that this is my presentation. I can also view the presentation by simply clicking there on presentation. I mean, yeah, I can simply click on presentation and I can view what I've been doing in that's the recording that was set